Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com, and today I'm going to walk you through the three most common types of patch lists that I see used within Ableton Live. So let's start off uh, with what they are. So the first type of patch list is called a static patch list. And this is your Sunday Keys style type of patch list where you have MIDI clips that are changing your patches for you and you're scrolling through them in order. The second type of patch list that we're going to cover today is called an automated patch list. And that is a patch list where you're using clips on a timeline so that Ableton will change your patches for you as you're playing. So long as you are using a metronome, this is a very cool and interesting way to go. And the third type is called a dynamic patch list. And this is more of an on-off style patch list. So let's take a look at the static patch list first. So here I am inside Ableton Live and let me get this keyboard out of the way. Um, and what I've got set up right now um, is a static patch list. Now, um, basically what this is doing is my very first patch is fired. And when I'm ready to move on, And this gives me some flexibility as well in terms of the types of things that I'm able to recreate. Um, if I want to change my pad sound, I'm able to alter that while I'm playing, but I'm still not worried too much about which patches are coming next. So this is sort of like a happy middle ground where you have your patches listed for you in order, but you still have control over your volumes uh, using your faders and your audio effects using your knobs at the top of your keyboard. So the next type of patch list that I want to show you is an automated patch list. And the way that this works is you have your patches laid out on a timeline and Ableton moves them for you. So let's check that out. So here, this is the bridge um, for Lion and the Lamb. And you'll see that I've got uh, some clips here that are just laid out. And this works similarly to how it did in the static view. But um, you'll notice that um, as I'm going through, certain things are happening. So let me see if I can demo this. So I'm going to pull everything out here except for this E piano. So when I have my timeline anywhere over this E piano clip, I've got E piano, but the second that my timeline crosses over to the bridge, you're going to see that this clip is going to change it so that no E piano is coming out anymore. Pretty cool, right? So similarly, um, let's give this a start here at the last time through our bridge. Um, in addition, well, hold on that thought for a second. So here is the last time of our bridge. Let me give myself one bar coming in here.
And there you go. Ableton is changing your patches for you. Um, also, uh, good to note that you can have it change parameters as well. So in automation mode, I actually have um, a filter program to, whoop, um, to open. So let's see if I can show you that. So as I'm playing through the bridge here, this pad is slowly opening up which means the intensity is going to increase, and I'm not actually gonna have to do anything. It's already pre-programmed uh, for that to happen for me. And as the curve starts to get a little bit higher, can really hear it start to come through. And then we're off into our next section. Um, beautiful. So that is your automated patch list. So you've got your patches and your effects changing for you to a timeline. All right, now the next type of patch list I wanna show you is the dynamic patch list. Now this is a patch list where you can change anything at any given point in time. So it's really great if you're not quite sure what you're going to play. So check out my screen over here. I've got my sounds all plugged in. I've got my audio effects all over here. And I'm able to just turn sounds on and off using my controller. And then alter the sounds using the knobs at the top. So if I've got a little bit of pad I want to bring in. to get in there and sort of work out what's going on in real time, kind of a hands-on feel. This can be really great, like I said, especially if you're working in situations where you might not be able to program exactly um, what you're going to need. Um, now, if you are interested in learning how to do this a little bit more in depth, you can head over to my website, mainstagedableton.com forward slash complete transition course, um, and you can check out um, all the information I have there where I will walk you through in more detail um, exactly what all of these things are. Um, but in the meantime, I hope this was incredibly inspiring and has kind of put you on the right path to choosing which type of a patch list is going to work best for your situation. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of the latest content. And if you're new to Ableton, definitely check out the Fast Track Patchless Guide at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go.